Picture this. You're at work, and suddenly a sneeze escapes, followed by a sniffling nose and a hint of a chill. Uh-oh. Could it be the infamous flu making its entrance? The clock seems to tick louder, and your co-workers look at you with a blend of concern and self-preservation. It's the beginning of a battle, you versus the flu virus. Now, let's get down to the nitty-gritty. What's this flu thing anyway? It's more than just a sneeze fest, it's a contagious viral infection that loves to party in your respiratory system. An unwelcome guest, if you ask me. Every year, millions fall prey to this pesky virus turning homes, offices, and schools into battlegrounds. But fear not, dear viewer. This video isn't about doom and gloom. It's your ultimate guide to understanding the flu, arming yourself with the right weapons, and showing this viral villain the exit door. From recognizing the first signs to finding the perfect remedies, we're going to march through flu season like pros. Now, here's a quirky question to tickle your brain cells. Did you know that feeding a cold and starving a fever is a myth? Or is it? Stick around to debunk more flu myths and become a flu-fighting superstar. So grab a cup of hot tea, a cozy blanket, and join us on this thrilling ride through the land of sniffles, sneezes, and ultimate triumph over the flu. Trust me, it's going to be a blast, and no tissues required. Well, maybe just a few. So, how do you know if it's the flu knocking at your door? The symptoms can be as theatrical as a daytime soap opera. We're talking about high fevers, body aches that make you feel like you've been trampled by elephants, a throat that feels like sandpaper, and chills that would make a polar bear shiver. Oh, and don't forget our old friends, cough and fatigue. They love to join the flu party too. Now, let's bust some flu myths that are more confusing than a twisty thriller movie. First off, the flu is not just a bad cold. Nope. It's more like a cold's evil twin with a mean streak. And that old saying about getting the flu from cold weather? As real as unicorns dancing in your backyard. The flu comes from viruses, not snowflakes. Ready for some flu-busting fun? Let's play a game, flu fact or fiction. I'll say a statement, and you guess if it's true or false. Here's one, you can catch the flu from the flu shot. What's your guess? Stick around for the answer, and no cheating. Now, gather around for a tale that's part comedy, part tragedy. Meet Joe, who thought his flu symptoms were just after effects of his intense salsa dancing night. A little sneeze? Must be the chili peppers. A fever? The dance floor was hot. But when Joe ended up in bed for a week, missing the next salsa night, he learned to take those flu signs seriously. So next time you feel a sneeze coming on, don't just blame the salsa. Know the symptoms, bust the myth, and be prepared to tango with the flu like a pro. Picture this, you're under siege by the flu, but you've got an arsenal of home remedies right in your kitchen. Chicken soup. That's your comforting ally. Honey and lemon tea. The dynamic duo for that pesky sore throat. Rest and hydration. Consider them your personal bodyguards against the flu villain. Want to see these remedies in action? We've got some nifty visuals coming up, so keep those eyes peeled. Sometimes, the flu puts on its boxing gloves and fights dirty. That's when you call in the heavy artillery, medical intervention. If the flu's hanging around longer than your in-laws during the holidays, it might be time to see a doctor. Prescriptions like antiviral medications can show that nasty flu who's boss. Now, what if you could stop the flu before it even starts? Enter the superhero of flu prevention, the flu vaccine. It's like having a shield against those sneaky flu viruses. Not sure how to get it? We'll guide you through, step by step, like a treasure hunt to immunity. And now, for a little flu humor. Why don't scientists trust flu viruses? Because they're always going viral for the wrong reasons. But jokes aside, dealing with the flu is no laughing matter, so it's best to keep your guard up. So, whether you're arming yourself with home remedies, calling in medical backup, or shielding yourself with a flu shot, you've got what it takes to win the battle against the flu. Ready, soldier? 
Let's fight the flu, one sneeze at a time. Prevention is better than a cure, right? So let's slap on our flu fighting armor. Wash those hands like you're scrubbing away yesterday's problems. Avoid close contact with sneezy Susans and coughing Kevins. And don't forget to arm yourself with tissues and sanitize like a superhero. Now, you might be thinking, what's food got to do with the flu? Well, friends, munching on healthy snacks and shaking that body is like building a fortress against the flu. Think of fruits and veggies as your soldiers, and exercise as training for battle. Together, they create an invincible army. Here's a fun fact. Did you know that a sneeze can travel up to 100 miles per hour? Talk about a speedy getaway. Now, for a challenge, how about trying a new flu-preventing food or activity this week? Share it in the comments, and let's get strong together. Mixing it up here, we've got short and sweet tips. Stay hydrated. Get enough sleep. Avoid touching your face. Keep stress at bay. Easier said than done, we know. And some longer insights for ya. If you feel the flu creeping in, don't play the hero, rest up and give your body a fighting chance. Remember, your well-being is essential, and these tips are not just for flu season, they're like life hacks. So there you have it. Whether you're washing hands like a champ, eating like a health guru, or dancing the flu away, these strategies are your go-to playbook. Now go out there and tackle the flu like a pro. Ever had a sneeze and thought, that's it. I'm down with the flu. You're not alone. It's like mistaking every cat for a lion. Colds and allergies often play dress up as the flu, fooling even the keenest of us. Knowing the real deal can save you from a lot of fretting and extra trips to the pharmacy. Remember, not all that sniffles is the flu. Ever tried garlic necklaces or dancing under the moon to cure the flu? All right. Maybe not that extreme, but some, tried and true, remedies are more fiction than fact. Like downing shots of orange juice as if you're at a vitamin C party. Sure, it's tasty, but it won't cure the flu. And please, avoid antibiotics like they're spoilers for your favorite show, they don't work on viruses. Let's leave the medicine mixing to the pros. Now, here's the crux. Treat the flu like a finicky house guest. Give it the right attention, and it'll leave peacefully. Neglect it, and, well, you're stuck with it. Rest, proper medication, and consulting a healthcare provider if things get rough are your keys to showing the flu the door. Think of it as hosting at a get well soon party just for yourself. Let's lighten the mood a bit. You wouldn't use a chainsaw to cut a cake, right? Unless you're into that sort of thing, no judgment here. Similarly, over-the-top remedies or ignoring essential care for the flu might make things messier. It's like trying to wash dishes with a fire hose. Effective? Maybe. Recommended? Probably not. By avoiding these common mistakes and misconceptions, you'll be one step ahead of the flu game. And don't worry, if you've ever believed that chicken soup could magically zap the flu away, you're in good company. It doesn't, but hey, at least it's delicious. Well, folks, we've sneezed and coughed our way through the labyrinth of flu land, unlocking the secrets and smashing the myths like a hammer on a piñata. We started with the chameleon act of recognizing the flu, then moved on to arming ourselves with the right remedies, sorry, garlic necklaces. We also flexed our prevention muscles and gave a big thumbs down to common mistakes that could send us down the flu rabbit hole. It's been a wild ride, but guess what? You're now ready to fend off the flu like a seasoned warrior. If you found this flu fighting guide to be as helpful as a warm blanket on a chilly day, don't hesitate to hit that like button or share it with fellow flu fighters. Got your flu story or secret remedy? Drop it in the comments. And don't forget to subscribe, or you might catch FOMO instead of flu. Want to become a flu fighting superhero? Check out www.dia9.in for links to trusty healthcare advice that can help you keep the flu and much more at bay. It's like building your flu fighting toolkit. So, here's to keeping those tissues at bay and toasting to health with a glass of, water, sorry, orange juice fans. Remember, when flu season comes knocking, you don't have to answer. 
But if you do, now you know how to show at the exit. Stay flu-free and fabulous.